It's actually a really good fire. <laughs> I really like it. It's amazing. Well, like all good stories, it started by Elliot falling in love. <laughs> How I got into pottery in the first place was I went to Japan uh, when I was still working in kitchens and um, just fell in love with their way of ceramics and how they really got into the craft and made it a way of life. It's been my obsession ever since. I've been in pottery 20 years so I've seen a lot of people come and go and rarely does someone pop up with the sort of a lot of the skills pre-programmed in them as that which I've seen in Elliot. I love it. Uh, I've always been a hands-on kind of person um, but I think it's one of the things is you know, if you've never worked with your hands before and you're kind of not used to it, and sure, yes, you will find it very hard at first, but I think if you, you know, the key thing is, you know, don't give up, and that is the main thing. And, um, you know, the more, as I say, practice makes perfect, and that's what Ren's done with me. He's given me a chance, because I knew nothing about pottery, nothing about that. I've only self-taught, and so he's given me the opportunity to grow myself, and for him, for also for him, to grow his business as well. Thought you were done. <laughs> <laughs> People often ask me what it's like to do something that you love. And I think probably Elliot and his journey into his traineeship here at Pottery for the Planet is a great example of that. Yeah, pretty much everything that is, you know, to do with pottery. Um, firing, glazes, clay, you know, all the components that go into it. and. Yeah, so it's been, been an amazing learning curve and definitely learned a lot over the past six months and <laughs> a lot of mistakes but also a lot of you know, achievements as well. So yeah, no, it's a real eye opener and yeah, love it. <laughs> How's it look? It's really, amazing. Yeah. Hey, Woo! Beautiful. Woo! Look at this guy.